It is now November 17th. It has been more than a week since Joe Biden was projected to be the winner. Joe Biden will become the next president. But still, Donald Trump has not acknowledged that Joe Biden has won. And it's remarkable, honestly. Like, this is this is shocking. And I get that he has to maintain this facade that there's still a chance and that maybe he can get the results of returned because he wants his supporters to donate to his legal fund, which in turn is actually going to Donald Trump's super PAC and to pay down his campaign's debt. So I get why he wants to do, to do this. It is a grift. But you can only maintain this facade for so long until cracks start to appear, until you end up slipping up. And that he did. Because in his first public appearance since losing the election, he was talking about COVID-19, and he commented on whether or not we should lock down the country again to mitigate the spread of the virus, and he almost admitted that Joe Biden won. Ideally, we won't go to a lockdown. I will not go. This administration will not be going to a lockdown. Hopefully, the the uh, whatever happens in the future, who knows which administration it will be. I guess time will tell, but uh, I can tell you this administration will not go to a lockdown. He came this close to saying it. <laughs> He's going to slip up at this rate. Now, on Twitter, he actually did inadvertently admit that Joe Biden beat him because he tweeted out, he won because the election was rigged. No vote watchers or observers allowed. Not true. Vote tabulated by a radical left privately owned company, Dominion, with a bad reputation and bum equipment that couldn't even qualify for Texas, which I won by a lot. The fake and silent media and more. So you admit that Joe Biden won. Well, there we have it. You just admitted you lost. So now your supporters have to ask themselves, well, if Joe Biden won, why am I giving my hard-earned money to the president if it's a lost cause? So knowing that his supporters might be less inclined to donate to his legal defense fund, his legal defense fund, uh, he had to walk that back. And he tweeted out, Joe Biden didn't actually win because, quote, he only won in the eyes of the fake news media. I concede nothing. We have a long way to go. This was a rigged election. And he later tweeted out, I won the election in all caps. You know, it's almost impressive that he has gone on this long pretending as if Joe Biden hasn't won, hasn't beat him. And it's like, this isn't some random individual. This is the president of the United States. We're not talking about like a softball team denying the results of a game. We're not talking about some random individual. This is the president of the United States. And even if we're used to his shenanigans... This is still honestly remarkable. Like, all of this will be written about in the history books. That's how bizarre it is. And really, what he's doing here, even if it is funny, the hysteria is damaging to democracy. You know, to delegitimize the election this much, that is damaging. But he knows that his time is limited. Like, you can only pretend as if you're not the winner for so long, and then you have to let it go. So what is he going to do to try to perpetuate, you know, or prolong, I should say, this grift? Well, apparently, we're getting some reports that after states officially certify the election results and he can't deny that Joe Biden will become the next president, well, um, he's going to announce that he's running for 2024 since this one was rigged. Now, there has been inklings that he will run for president again. That was basically immediate after he lost when, you know, it wasn't projected that Joe Biden would win, but when it looked like he would win. So, I mean, this isn't necessarily something that I find is too shocking, but it is his way to kind of soft deny the results of this election, right? Since he kind of won, well, he owes it to his supporters in his view to run again, because that's his way of saving face. I mean, it's just embarrassing because we know that he doesn't want to be president. He likes the rallies, I think, but he doesn't actually want to be president. Governance is not something that interests him at all. He's proven that. But it's, you know, his way of just keeping this grift going. Rather than starting Trump TV or whatever his next venture will be, he just wants to run for president again. Now, you know, it doesn't really make sense for him to do this. Because assuming he's going to even try to follow the law, you can't legally coordinate with your super PACs once you announce that you're running for president. You have to cease all communications once you make it official. 
right? So this is why so many presidential candidates wait to announce that they're running, because they want to raise as much money as possible with their super PACs before ceasing ties, officially anyways. I mean, we know that they basically communicate indirectly, but still, if he does this, he's making it so that way he can't communicate with his super PAC. Now, I don't necessarily know the specifics about uh, election laws. Like, his is his super PAC that he's creating will that be associated with his 2024 campaign or is it just his way of raising money for other Republicans and can he still coordinate with that one? Uh, you know, I don't know. But this is all just, it's very bizarre and the thought of Donald Trump not going away, it is deeply unsettling, but it's not surprising. I mean, we knew that if he lost, he wouldn't just go away. Like, even though Trump isn't going to be president anymore, I don't necessarily believe that this is the end of the Trump era, so to speak, because you are going to have Republicans that are going to see how popular he is with the base, even though he lost this election, and they're going to emulate his policies, or I should say emulate his politics, because I don't necessarily think that Trump's policies diverge that much with traditional Republicans. But when it comes to the rhetoric, you know, the open white supremacy, uh, the xenophobia, the nationalism, I think that other Republicans are going to be exactly the way that Trump is, you know, and uh, not just do dog whistle racism, be pretty explicit and overt. So, you know, the thing that we have to look out for is whether or not other Republicans are going to allow him to run again. And he can run. I mean, he's free to do that. But will they fight him or will they kind of like step aside? and allow him to run again, because we know that individuals like Ted Cruz and Tom Cotton, they don't want to wait for Donald Trump to run again, because if he did run, I think he'd automatically be the favorite in a Republican primary in 2024. They don't want that, but if they go against Donald Trump and challenge the daddy of the Republican Party, then that will end up hurting their own chances, because the base loves Donald Trump. So we're going to see this interesting dynamic play out and i don't know what the implications of it are ultimately for the republican party i hope it will f facilitate fractures but who knows it's just again going back to donald trump still refusing to concede it's embarrassing like i feel embarrassed for him like this is real cringe right here and there are a large enough number of people who support him who still believe that he did in fact win or could still win it's just shocking. That was the point of the Million MAGA March, which was more like 10, 11,000 people. But still, that much people who are this deluded into thinking that the president who just lost is still going to be the president? It's just, it's honestly, it, it's sad because there's, there's, no, there's no objective truth anymore that everyone agrees upon. Like, we live in this era where facts aren't actually facts they're disputable depending on your political ideology and that's extremely dangerous that doesn't bode well for the health and longevity of society and democracy so if we don't even believe or agree on baseline facts about empirical reality i mean how do we go forward and the answer is we can't these people just have to be defeated the looney tunes the the psychopaths who still believe that trump has a chance of winning this election that he clearly lost. He's presented zero evidence that widespread voter fraud has led to his defeat. Zero. So to be in denial at this stage, this late in the game, I mean, I get that Trump is in denial because I don't believe he believes that there's a chance. I think he knows he lost. But for his supporters to still deny this, I mean, that's, that's deeply disturbing. Tremendous, 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 tremendous,